Daniel Komen set up a meeting record 1239.74 the world record at the time and what a field this is it's a huge field but it's a very high caliber field as well let's have a look at those names Akbash Kipro Manuel Kipro was a be one of the two pacemakers there is crop jacob crop the world championship silver medalist commonwealth bronze medalist stewie mcswain coming back into his best form nicholas kip correa the eugene seventh place at andre and buru and the fisher watch grant fisher fourth in eugene over 10,000 meters he was six in the 5,000 at the world championships u.s champion this year and he is a huge talent is grant fisher Woody Kincaid is there as well. NACAC champion of a 5,000 uh, was Woody Kincaid just uh, 10 days or so ago. Nicol Minayo, watch him too. Watch out for Lobelu. He was the surprise winner of Stockholm. That run really caught me unawares. 7.29 he won over the uh, 3,000 metres distance there. It was a 20 second improvement. But this man, Jacob Krop, has to start as the favourite. Number 10 all time is Krop. Uh, he's the second fastest in the world this year. Nicholas Kipkorea, though, is out there as well. Watch him. A whole couple of athletes there. Just not quite sure how to stand on the start line, but they get underway. Twelve and a half laps of the track. That Daniel Komen meeting record, 12.39. Well, makes him the fourth fastest man in history. Joshua Cheptegei remembers the world record of that amazing 12.35, two years back in Monaco. Now, they need to go out here, well, in around 61 seconds per lap if they're going to um, get down there towards 12.40. The scheduled uh, tempo is 2.34 for the first kilometres, and then rather bizarrely, 2.31 for the second kilometre, because they want 5.05 at 2K. I don't quite get that. And then they want to hit 3,000 at 7.39. Well, that means you're down there in the 7... Uh, 40 territory, tw sorry, 12.40 territory. Grijalva, an interesting athlete in the orange there in fourth place. He's uh, really come on this last couple of years, Chris, and could be a threat here, certainly for a place in the top three. The uh, man who at the moment is in fourth, hasn't raced in six weeks, so we can only assume comes into this fresh and ready. Well, they're strung out already. Barely, what, uh, 400 metres into this race. You can probably hear the accompaniment of a, of a live band in the background. They're just going in front of them now, away to our left from our commentary position. But look at that Indian file already, 500 metres into this race. And uh, a lively pace being set here by Munir Akabash. Yes, Akabash of France, the 36-year-old. is a 149-800 fella. 339 for 1500 they go through there at 61.6 the first lap by the way was 61.4 that was 600 obviously just then so uh, into the back straight for the second time but you know it's quick when they're stretched out like this in single file and Shui McSwain back in what about seventh eighth place now look out too for conjuncture there he is in seventh place one of the fastest men in history the Eighth place throughout the world champion. A bit disappointing that from Kajelsha. On a sluggers then in the high jump. Past the lap there, three and a half laps gone. They went through 1K in 2.33, 2.33.6. So really good pace making by uh, Munir Akbaj. That They were asked for 2.34. He's doing it well. Kiprop there in second place. Emmanuel Kiprop in the black is the second pace maker. They're moving along at a really crisp tempo. But they are stretched out pretty much single file. Kajelsha there back in about fifth place now. Grant Fisher is right up there, the uh, American 5,000 meter champion. He's never broken 13 minutes, and I would be a good time to do it. And I'll tell you what, he's on schedule something a long way below 13 minutes at the moment. Fisher in fourth place, just behind Grijalva. In the uh, file, as you can see, for the top nine athletes there, they're beginning to get away. Suey McSwain is up there in about seventh place. Grijalva in the second place, behind Kipper up the pacemaker. They went through 2K, by the way, in 5.07, 5.07.15. Grant Fisher is in third place. Kajelcher in fourth. The uh, small figure of Jacob Krop is in fifth. And they're still moving at around 61 seconds per lap. High 61s. 61 61.6, 61 61.5, 61 61.3, 61 61.5. 61 61 Those are the sort of splits we've been getting. Really good, consistent running and great pace making by the man out in front at the moment. Manuel Kiprop. 
quickly. Halver just beginning to lose a little bit of ground. And Conjelture it is who recognises the danger to move round and into the gap in second place. They were looking for 3,000 metres in 7.39. It's not going to be much outside that. Maybe a couple of seconds. Kiprop swings wide now. His job more or less done. And Kajelcha, is this the old Kajelcha that we're used to? Such an aggressive racer on his day. Still only 25 years old. He's been around for years, Chris. He has indeed. He seems ageless, though. Back to the 5,000 in a moment. Because business to attend to here for our reigning world champion, Eleanor Patterson. She's in deep trouble here. She's seen Mayuchi go clear at 197. Here is her third and final attempt at that height. Inviting the crowd to get behind her. Away to our right as we look out. Getting herself into the perfect mindset. Here she then. Clutch jump at 197. No. Didn't have the height. And the frustration for the Australian. Well, how emotions can change it's what barely six or eight weeks ago that she was on top of the world went to the top of the pile of those world championships in eugene and now having to settle for second place here for the moment in the women's high jump Mayuchik is clear the standard of 5,000 meters running this evening is quite fabulous they've gone through 3,741 there were six at that point, these four beginning to get away. Grant Fisher on the back of this little quartet, almost chopping his stride there as he runs into the back of the athlete in front of him. Kajelcha just relinquishes the lead to Krop. Abenio is there as well. Fisher has got effectively three pacemakers there. He just needs to hang on to the back of that group and he almost goes into the back of Kajelcha there because these four are away. Stuart McSwade back at about six or seven, the Australian. Looks like he's struggling a little bit. A 61.8 there, that slowed a little. It has slowed a little. Grant Fisher, just a little subtext of this race, eyeing the US record Bernard Legat, which has stood for 11 years. Now then, back to this that long jump competition. Early stages still. Kanisha Burks from the USA with her second round effort. Had a no jump in round one. 6.45, Bruma we saw leading the way for Nigeria ahead of Kate Hall. I don't think Burks has done enough. No, she hasn't. 6.18 only. She tucks it in third place. The gap is widening behind these four. They're away. Crop, it is who leads. But he's not really applying the pressure at the moment. Abenio in second place. Then Kajelcha, then Fisher. All he's got to do, Grant Fisher, is hang in there behind these two Kenyans and the Ethiopian in third place. And he can get in amongst them and make the rostrum in this 5,000 metres. Bernard Legat, American record, remember that he could be going for here tonight. Stands at uh, 12.53.60. Crop pushing it on, but is he pushing it on a nuss? He's the 10th fastest athlete in time when he came to second in Rome back in early June. He ran 12.46. They're not far off that sort of schedule at the moment with uh, two and a half laps to run. And they go through 4,000 in 10.15. 10.15 for this quartet. Is Crop doing enough here to break a Benio, Kajelcha and Fisher? Just over two laps to run. And it still looks so relaxed. Abenio, by contrast, in the blue there in second place. Quite an untidy runner. Kajelcha's beginning to feel the pressure. And Fisher very quickly recognises the danger and eases past him. Two laps to go, a 61.5 there. That uh, US record is in real danger. Grant Fisher needs to find just under two more laps of hard running here. He's looking good, isn't he? He's looking really fresh. Talked and looked confident coming into this, uh, this race. Third in Monaco over 3k just a few weeks ago real interest in the states lots of message board activity coming into this meeting in brussels about whether he could get this uh, this u.s record held by bernard Legat since what 2011. kajelcha losing ground all the time lobalu the find of the year from south sudan the 24 year old having a solid run and there grant fisher recognizes the danger as they come round into the straight for the penultimate time because abenio is tired 
Ibenio, who is uh, the Commonwealth Games silver medalist at 10,000 metres, had to let Krop go. And Krop now pouring on the pressure. Has the American got the speed here? The bell in around 12. Uh, 11.49, the cameraman standing in front of the clock by the finish line. That doesn't help, but as uh, Grant Fisher goes into the back straight, 300 metres to run, right on the shoulder of Krupp, and Krupp will know he's there. He will sense the American is there. Has he got the speed over this last 300? Krupp looks good, glancing up at the uh, big scoreboard, but look at the expression on the face of Fisher. Fisher still believes he can get something out of this. Just a metre, barely, barely a metre between the two, 200 to go. Less than 200 to run then, Grant Fisher pumping hard with the arms as he comes around the bend for the final time. And Krupp turns it up another notch, tries to break the American. And for the first time, as daylight, and eases away now. This is no sprint, this is a battle of survival. And Krupp is the man who's going to survive best of them all. Watch the clock, it's fabulously quick. It's the fastest time in the world this year, 12.45.71. And Grant Fisher, probably half a second behind him, smashes the US record by something like eight seconds. Incredible run. The rest of them pour across the line. Stewie McSwain there of Australia has just gone under 13 minutes for the first time. I got him at about 12.58, but he's down the field in a truly remarkable 5,000 here in Brussels in the King Baudouin Stadium. And Krupp had to work for that one, and you have to admire him. He did the hard work. And I love to see hard workers, I love to see front runners putting in the graft. I love to see them break opposition who sit on them and hope to kick past them. And Krop did just that tonight, Jacob Krop. Brilliant run from the 21-year-old Kenyan. World Championship silver medalist, winner here in Brussels. How fitting, Tim. How fitting on the 25th anniversary of Daniel Komen breaking the world record here in this very, very stadium that we had such a special race. Krop brilliantly winning in 12.45.71, the fastest time in the world this year. It's a big personal best, but they will be going absolutely wild stateside because Grant Fisher has demolished the US record held by Bernard Legat. He's locked, what, seven seconds nearly off that US record held by Legat. What a race and what a finish. And it was only what in the last 100 metres that Jacob finally, Jacob Krop finally got rid of Grant Fisher, he was hanging on. Brilliant, brilliant racing. Well, he becomes the sixth fastest man in history, just Jacob Krop. Elevates himself four places in the all-time list. That was a special run. And he did so much of the work. And this is where he took the lead and began to apply the pressure. About three and a half laps out, he saw Kajelcha tiring. Abenio, his compatriot, had to let him go. Daniel Simu Abenio. He was a 10,000 metre runner. I thought he might be the stronger of the two coming through the last couple of laps. But it was quick. You have to remember that. These fellas are operating at only a click outside 61 seconds per lap for uh, 12 and a half minutes. And Krupp got his reward, having worked so hard for the previous four or five minutes or so. Grant Fisher rocking from side to side there. He's a big fella, Grant Fisher. The opposite of a lot of these East Africans are long and lean. He's powerfully built, but he covers the ground so well. 12.45.96 is new American record, and that puts a Grant Fisher way up there in the top 12 all time. Brilliant stuff. Something to celebrate, that's for sure. A reward for a big, big season from the American. The US Championships was back in the 26th of June.